What's going on guys? Today we're talking about the yoga cobra pose benefits. What can the yoga cobra pose do for you if you practice it regularly? Well, the cobra pose is one of the different poses from the sun salutation. The sun salutation is a very good sequence that you can practice in the morning to get plenty of energy for the rest of the day. The cobra pose is a light back bend posture. It has very good properties to strengthen your back, increase your flexibility, and it's a very beginner friendly pose that anyone can do. This posture is not very difficult, but it is the foundation for every more challenging backbend postures. I recommend that you practice it regularly when you're starting out to strengthen your lower back and increase your spine flexibility. So what are the main benefits of the Cobra Pose? Well, it strengthens your back muscles, stimulates your abdominal organs, stretches your shoulders and your chest, and improves your digestion. Cobra pose is also known to release stress and fatigue. It also facilitates respiration. It decreases any lower back stiffness that you may have, increases your back flexibility. It can also tone your buttocks and your abdominals, improve the detoxification of your body by stimulating your internal abdomen organs like the liver and kidneys. It's also a great pose to relieve stress and anxiety. It increases your energy levels and will give you plenty of energy for the rest of the day. So what you have to keep in mind when practicing cobra pose is doing it on an empty stomach. It's important that you practice after your digestion is completely finished. I recommend that you practice this at least four hours after your last meal. So on an empty, to empty stomach in the morning is the best time actually. Make sure that you avoid this posture if you have any injury in the back or on the wrists. If you are pregnant, you should also not attempt this posture. Instead, you can practice a variation of this one, standing and putting your hands against the wall. So how to do the cobra pose? Well, it's very important that you don't force yourself into the posture for a deeper back bend. You should only lift your torso and use your lower back strength only. An, an even distribution of the curve in your back is key to do the posture correctly. Do not push on your hands, but is, instead try to lift your chest off the floor using your lower back, your abdominals and pushing your legs into the floor. If you lie on your stomach, join your legs together, then place your hands under your shoulders Draw your shoulder blades back, engage your core, thighs and back muscles. Then lift your chest slowly off the floor using your back muscles. Keep your arms near your body and press your hips, thighs and feet to the floor. Hold the pose as long as you can and remember to breathe deeply. It's a very beginner friendly pose that has plenty of benefits for your health and well-being. So if you want to learn back bends, I recommend that you start out with this one. It's a very, very effective posture to increase your back strength and flexibility. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you tomorrow.